Hey everybody, it's Jenny McGarvey and I'm back with you today for another new week in my memory planner. There is a look at last week and this year I am using the big happy planner and no pocket page protectors. Now I will bring those in for weeks where I have extra things to document. So say like a really busy week that has tons of photos, I'll totally bring them in. No problem whatsoever. Now, my approach this year is also a little bit different. So as you can see, I already have my photos printed and I'm gonna use my paper trimmer to trim those up to the appropriate sizes. And then I'm gonna work on placing them in the spots where I think they will end up. Now, this is because I need to be able to add my plans as well as the photos. So last year it wasn't an issue because most of my photos were included in the pocket pages. And it didn't matter if I left room for decoration or embellishing because I that wasn't the focus. Well now, because the plans and the photos are the focus, I need to make sure I have plenty of room for the photos. So I will first sketch a place for the photos. As you can see, I'm using the paper punch to punch a circle out of that one particular photo. I like to have a balance in the size and shape of the photo. So this particular week, I'm not exactly excited about it because there are so many vertical two by three photos. That feels a little plain to me, but not only that, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to make good design choices based on so much the same. But I'm gonna make it work and I'm gonna do my best to put them all together. Now, as you can see, I switched that photo of my cat and the photo was taken on Saturday. But the thing is, is that does it really matter what day of the week that photo was taken of my cat? No, not really, because it's not really tied to anything whatsoever. So I moved it over to the left-hand side because that was a better design choice. Now I'm gonna flip through this memory planner sticker book from the Happy Planner just because I want to reacquaint myself. And to be perfectly honest with you, I hadn't quite figured out what I was going to do for my overall theme. So I was kind of not only familiarizing myself, but also trying to get a spark of inspiration as well. Now, all of the new big Happy Planner books are absolutely perfect. I really like them a lot. They fit wonderfully and they are really helpful. Now, as you can see, I'm placing my first decorative sticker to layer with my photo of the cat. And so I'm just using my tape runner to adhere the photo down on top of that. I decided to go with a rainbow color scheme. Again, rainbow is totally my thing, right? So I am starting with red and then I'm gonna move to pink. And I realize it's kind of a design faux pas because the planner itself starts with pink and then goes to red. And I probably should have felt followed that example, but I didn't, and it's really not that big of a deal. So anyway, as you can see, I have the photo down and then I've started with my activity. Now this is a day that had a ton of things going on. And so it's proof that this planner really is big enough to incorporate all of the things and photos, because as you can see, as I fill it out more, there were a lot of appointments and activities that I wanted to include, and I'm able to get them all down in this one single day while filling an entire square with decoration. Now, one of the things that I love about all of these books is that there's so many different types of stickers, and that's really important because I like to vary my pages, and so that these stickers really help me do that. Now, I'm going to continue that trend by, I, so I added the first arrow sticker, and then I used that speech bubble type sticker, then I'm also going to try and find a red little, like a block event sticker, one of those ones that are square or rectangular with the grids to notate an event. But the problem is that they don't always say what that I want them to say, or they don't leave a space that I can cover up with something else. So it's definitely a challenge to find the exact thing that I need for my particular space. But I did that. It really wasn't that big of a deal once I went through and looked at all the things. And right there is another example of making that work for me because I covered that text on the original sticker with that circle today, which I love. Now I'm gonna add a couple of bullet points to round out the day. Now memory planning for me as I talk about each week is something that I am 
really genuinely melding planning and scrapbooking. I know a lot of people in their memory planners are not adding actual events. They're just using it more as a scrapbook, kind of a little bit more of a extension of project life. For me, this is genuinely a planner that I add photos and decorations to because I am a mom of three kids and I already can see how many things I forget. And this really super busy time in our life, I want to remember. I want to remember all the different activities we did and all of those things. I know I will so easily forget that. So I love memory planning for this particular purpose. Now this event sticker, I am adding the actual activity, but then I'm also adding a little reminder for this activity by including another sticker on top of it. And it's wonderful because I'm able to break this one sticker up into sort of two different stickers, but it looks really cute and like it's supposed to go together. Now again, I layered on top of the sticker, or on top of that photo, this sticker, and what I'm trying to do is pull up the edges of the sticker and it doesn't work. I'm not able to. I'd already stuck it down and I couldn't get it up. So I decided to go a different route and add that decorative sticker right on top of it. And it actually turned out totally okay and I'm actually really glad that I did it. I still probably would have enjoyed it if it had been on top of the decorative sticker, but it's no matter because it's not a problem at all. And this was a really light day, so you have Monday that was really kind of a busy day and a full day, and then you have Wednesday that's light. So it's always really important to kind of try to work together on some of these things. So it works fine because my Monday is spread out from the very top to the very bottom, but in some days you're not going to remember to plan those out. So it's important to take a look at what you've already done and find a good balance. So as you can see, I added that decorative sticker, and what's cool about it is that one side is pink and one side is orange, so I can tie the pink side from Tuesday into the orange side of Wednesday with one really super cute decorative sticker. Now I do also really enjoy keeping some white space because white space is, it's a design choice to be absolutely sure, and I really enjoy it. Not only that, but it also gives my, play, my eye a place to rest, and I don't prefer the cluttered look in my planner. So that's why I definitely enjoy leaving a little bit of white space when possible. Now as you can see I am working on the second half of the week and I have removed the pages from the planner like I always do. I prefer to do that. It gives me the cleanest working surface so I'm not going to have any problems with bumpiness or running into the discs or anything like that. Now for the design on Thursday, I'm not going to lie, I'm not really quite as excited about it. I'm lining everything up within the lines, and at the end, I don't really feel like that looks the best. However, I'm able to sort of rectify that by placing this half sticker that I had trimmed and used the other part of it earlier, and sort of offset it a little bit as opposed to keeping it right in the center. And then I'll also add a decorative sticker a little bit later that helps with that a little bit as well. I'm going to just use my ATG gun to adhere all of the photos this week. The ATG gun is really super because it's got really great, great adhesive. You can choose from a bunch of different ones that they offer. It will last forever. The rolls are really thick and you can get discount ones that are very, very inexpensive. So if you can stay on the size of it and get the hang of refilling it, it can really be a great economical choice. Now, as you can see, I already added the decorative element for Friday, and I've talked to you about this before. I don't love the color green, so green days are always a little bit hard for me, but the part about green days that is awesome is that because I don't usually use it in my regular planning, I usually have a lot of choices for green days, so that's always something to get really excited about. Now I didn't have too many activities on this particular day so I was able to go back and sort of look through and see what I wanted to add and I knew that I wanted to keep the sort of whimsical feeling going so I adhered my photo and then I chose this green quote sticker about hard work because that's what my son was doing was that he was getting ready for his tryouts the following day so I knew that a fun quote to go along with this photo was perfect and what ended up okay about that is that the shape of this sticker is a little bit different it's a little bit you know not the normal shape so it ended up all tying together really well and that's one of the things that you want to think about when you're doing some of these more decorative parts of planning is tying all of your elements together now they don't have to be perfect so for example here on Saturday I'm using this sort of list making sticker to notate 
a couple of events. Yeah, I hate it. It's ugly. It didn't turn out well. It doesn't look great, but it's definitely a learning experience for me and has sort of shown me that I'll be a little bit more thoughtful when using something like this. So it's not all bad because it definitely taught me something. Now, I could have gone back and covered it up. That wouldn't have been a problem. But I decided to leave it because, again, it'll be a good reminder in the future of something to not repeat. Now, I'm going to stagger these two photos. I had already adhered the top one, but I'm going to pull it up and then have it bleed over into Saturday a little bit. And then I have the selfie down in the bottom go all the way over to the edge. That just sort of breaks up the Sunday as opposed to it being really straight and narrow and not being very visually interesting. So now I'm going to finish up the planning portion of this by just writing in the one activity that I had for the day. And so now I'm able to start sort of the after decorative part, which I'm going to add these alphabet stickers from the new Happy Planner sticker books. I love them, by the way. They're really great. And just spell out the overall idea of the photo, which in this particular case is Monopoly. My son and I were playing a game of Monopoly on Sunday morning. And I think it looks really super cute, and it's a great way to journal a little bit as well. Now I'm going to flip the page back around and then add a little bit more of the same type of journaling just by writing the word baseball over that circle photo of my son. Now I'm going to obviously change the orientation of it, so from the up and down to the side to side, but then I'm also going to mix up the colors here because I start in the green day and end in the blue day. So I figured that was really cute and a fun way to, again, make this a little bit more whimsical, which is definitely my overall approach to memory planning in general. Now the last thing I'm going to do is draw a few journaling lines and just add a couple of words about this particular weekend and I'm really finished with this whole week in my memory planner. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching me create this week in my rainbow happy planner. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a thumbs up and if you have any questions, please leave them in the box below and I will do my very best to get back to you. Thank you so much and make it a great day.